welcome back to Saver Engineers YouTube channel. In this video lecture, I would like to guide you for 28 feet span of beam steel reinforcement details. If you are working on construction site, if you are studying, so watch this video till the end to know about steel structure design if the span is up to, up to 28 feet. But remember guys, this is for normal residential building. This is for a residential building up to three story. As you can see guys, this is a diagram for beam and columns. As you can see guys, the beam is supported by these two columns. One is this column and this is the another column. So first of all, I will tell you the size of column, where column size is 12 inches by 12 inches, up to three story. And we used here M20 grade concrete, where the ratio is one ratio 1.5, ratio three. Now I'm talking about the beam span, which is 28 feet. What should be the size of beam and inside steel reinforcement up to three story for a residential building? The size of beam is here. Size of beam, which is 12 by 18 inches. Width is 12 inches, depth is 18 inches. Let me create its section, 18 inches depth and width is 12 inches this is size of beam where guys we already used here m20 grade concrete which ratio is this one so therefore guys the size is 12 by 18 inches so this is size and now let me guide you for steel reinforcement where guys we have tension zone or you can say bottom at the bottom of this call at the bottom of this beam we used four bars where the dia was 16 millimeter this is very important for you people to know about this next guys remember top portion or you can say compression zone so at compression zone we provided three bars and the dia was 16 millimeter i did already this design for one of my client next guys i did the calculation so therefore i am not wasting your time to guide you properly so uh, from where you can take the uh, size of the beam because in many videos i have already discussed okay so therefore now i am guiding you the other one guys side bars we provided two bars two side bars okay so i am guiding you now practically and the dia was 16 millimeter but at the distance of l by 3 now let me guide you in detail for this if you see guys this is stirrup and this beam this is stirrup and these are hooks one bar two three and four at the bottom two are side bars at the top portion okay where we provided at the distance of l by 3 what is l by 3 mean span divided by 3 here you can say let me make a section this is l by 3 l divided by 3 where l divided by 3 where this is 28 feet so 28 feet should be divided by 3 so normally you can say this is divided by 3 so normally you can say this is about not 8 feet 9 9.5 feet you can say at the distance of 9.5 feet or 9 feet 6 inches and 9 feet and 6 inches so at the distance of 9 feet and 6 inches we provided these two bars which is called side bars okay so let me guide you properly here so these are two side bars one is this one this is the other one and these are top bars where we have longitudinal bars and these are bottom bars which is called tension zone tension zone steel reinforcement should be upward to the upward side bend to the upward side and the top portion steel reinforcement should be bent to the downward side which is called development length 
it should not be less than 18 inches these development lengths should be connected or overlapped with longitudinal bars of the column like this same like this like this and this is a development length where development length should not be less than 18 inches and this is main longitudinal bar this is the other one okay so you can see the steel reinforcement so four bars at the bottom two at the top two are side bars guys you can see to resist negative bending moment and also top bars we are providing our crank bar we are providing this is very important for you people to know about this if you require to provide the lapping length as you know guys lapping length should not be provided at the beam especially at the bottom portion of the beam because this is tension zone so concrete is weak in tension so therefore don't provide lapping at the bottom of the beam because there we have more chances of cracks so therefore the extra steel rod should be provided at the distance of l by 4 because we have negative bending moment how like this when the load comes on the top of the beam like this already we are providing the beam because on the top of the beam we have the structure load brake masonry or any other structure we can provide on the top of this so when the load comes on the top of this so it make makes a shape same like this look at here so here we have positive bending moment here we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment provide extra steel rods or crank bar to resist negative bending moment provide extra steel rods to resist positive bending moment so provide extra steel rods here at the bottom instead of overlapping provide extra steel rods okay if you require to provide the lapping length lapping is not allowed at the distance of l by 3 because here we have also more changes of cracks so here we should provide extra steel rods so don't provide here at the bottom if you require to provide the lapping length so provide at the top portion but at the middle provide lapping at the distance of l by 2 but not at the bottom but you can provide at the top so this is the proper way of steel reinforcement because concrete is weak in compression uh, concrete is weak uh, in tension but it's strong in compression so therefore in compression zone i provided three steel rods because it's strong in compression what concrete but it's weak in tension so therefore we provided four steel rods so therefore we are providing minimum numbers at the, at the top portion and maximum numbers at the bottom portion the top portion steel reinforcement the dia can be in decrease but the bottom portion steel reinforcement should be the dia should be increased because it's weak and tension remember if you want to build your house and you don't know about the steel structure design if you are going more than two story so you should hire the structure engineer to give you the structural drawing for the residential building or for commercial building if you don't have any experience so don't try this that's why because before this you should know about the bearing capacity of soil the full structure load and also you should know the wind load earthquake maximum loads we have there so therefore uh, including all these ideas you can go ahead otherwise you will face more problems so guys this is a short video in which in which i have guided you for 28 feet span of beam uh, with the size of 12 by 18 inches, 4 bars at the bottom 16 millimeter, 3 at the top 16 millimeter, 2 are side bars, grade of concrete is here uh, M20 grade concrete, uh, where the uh, concrete cover is 1.5 inch, you can say, are normally 40 millimeter, and also uh, the hooks are bent on 135 degree, it should not be provided on 90 degree, but uh, it can easily uh, move from each other so therefore don't provide on the 90 degree degree and also the spacing of the stirrups should be closely placed at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment and also you can see this side left side and also right side and if if you are talking about the middle are at the distance of l by 2 so left and right side you can increase so suppose i am providing the steel reinforcement or the stirrups so provide four to six inches okay a center to center and the dia should not be less than eight millimeter this is for the stirrups so four at the distance of l by four you can keep or place six inches spacing after l by four you will get the good result thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye